Howdy, Possum Patty here, and, uh, and I didn't finish what I said I was going to finish, uh, but come on along anyway. <laughs> Well, the table's a mess, and the floor's a mess, and even the sewing machine is still out, and I did a little bit of work, and I did go to the flea market, so maybe I can show you what I did, finish up a page or two, I hope, and Let's see how that goes. And I just bought a few things for junk journaling to share with you. Okay, in yesterday's episode, and I will link that below in case you missed it, I got out my Hello Autumn book, and I started journaling about the Mooncake Festival. And I finished this page over here with the flyer. This is what the flyer looked like from the Moon Cake, or this one's called Happy Moon, Moon Cake, Happy Moon Festival. And these are some of the dancers there. So if you want to see the dancers and some of the things that were going on, you'll have to watch the video before this one because it's all in there. And then I showed you a few ideas that I had for different pages. And I was talking about using this uh, paper and come to find out this is actually, I had a scrap here. This is actually a calendar. Here it is. Calendar. I thought it was scrapbook paper. It's a calendar from 2008. And this is a Japanese mid 17th century hanging scroll color in gold on paper and it is at the metropolitan museum of art from 1929 and what i did was i went over the center of the page and a little bit onto this scrapbook paper that was already there and I found a journaling card in my bag of Chinese slash Asian things that was gifted to me. And I put some more of that uh, red mulberry paper underneath the picture of Mr. Possum, me, and Sister Possum, and the bowl of rice at the festival. And I think I'm going to leave this page just the way it is. So when flipping through, I, I'm sorry about all that glare. Flipping through, I can just enjoy the loveliness of the trees there. So that comes before the one I did yesterday. So I went back and did this. And now I'm working on the calligraphy page. And I've got a few things done here already. Uh, this is kind of a thin thin book here. <laughs> it hasn't filled out, out very much yet. I've got several flat pages in here. Here's one with a pocket. This one's a little more interactive, but still, I figured I got lots of room in this journal still to play around. I have the pocket there, so I'm thinking, what haven't I done in a while? Well, I haven't done a fabric flip, right? Okay, so paper is stuck here. Let me get that off. I found this material that was gifted to me, and it looks like it was part of a sleeve. It's got this really pretty gold trim on the bottom. And I love the pattern. It's almost like a batik on top of a black background. So I cut out a piece, not quite triangular. And then I kind of shredded it a little bit. And I kind of didn't want it to go straight. I wanted it to be a little bit more organic. And 
off of the um, scrapbooking paper that I got, uh, was gifted to me, that I got this from, I cut out one of these borders and I sewed it. You can see stitches on the back. I just folded over the top of the material and sewed the paper border on. And then looking at the different sheets that came with this, I said, oh, there's another fish. And I didn't realize it was like the same exact fish that that is almost. So it's okay. I cut it out. I distressed it and I put it on there. So I like how everything is coming together here. I got the red from this page. I got the fish from this page. And I'm going to glue that down after I glue down the calligraphy. Now, when I showed this to you yesterday, this was all on one big white sheet. And I was thinking about gluing the whole sheet down. And I changed my mind, of course. And I distressed it. And it was on the sheet just like this. And this is how it will go on. And this is the picture of the calligrapher at the Mooncake Festival. So I put him on the background of some Chinese characters. And I put at the festival with an arrow. And then I put third grade student at Worthington Hooker School. And a little arrow because that's who did this writing over here. And then I decided to add a little bit more floral to the background. I do like this green pattern. It certainly matches this gold over here. But because there's flowers on this, I said, let me add just a little bit of flower to the background. Isn't this pretty? And I ripped around the edge to make it a little bit more organic. And that's going to go on there somewhere with this. Now that's probably come down here because this has got to go over here. And I'll probably just kind of overlap all these things like that. And I could put that crooked if I want to. And what I was trying to get was to have not the calligraphy, but this little piece of flower sticking out against the green background behind the fabric. So this is what I was going for. So this is going to be at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these down. I showed you my moon cake yesterday, but I haven't eaten it yet. And I guess maybe I should go stick it in the refrigerator. Uh, maybe tomorrow I can eat it. I got a lot of this stuff here. <laughs> I took out so many things and it's all over the floor. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down and then I still have another page that I want to do. I don't know how complicated that page is going to get, but let's see. If this is here. All right, I want to hold this space, space saver here, because that's where it's got to get glued down. All right, so we know that's there. And I want this to go here a little bit more than that side. And this will have to go here a little bit more this side. And then this will go here. Okay, and then this, this should be okay, as long as I keep this kind of like that. I think this got to go a little higher too. I'm wondering now if this is his name here, or is that his name? Anyone speaks Chinese and wants to translate this for me, that would be very helpful. I would appreciate it. Because I don't remember what it says because this is from 30 years ago. And the student who did it is probably back in China right now. So he can't help me out. And this origami paper is kind of thin. So I'm going to... Put a little of this glue in the middle. Oops, uh-oh. 
I used up another one already. I think I got, I got another one or two in there. I gotta remember to get some more. So I used to teach at Worthington Hooker School in New Haven a long time ago. And it's a very old school building, like a hundred years old now. And I think it was built like during, you know, that period when everything was kind of artsy. Because you go in, I don't know if I have pictures of that. And there's like horses carved into the ceiling and like Greek, Greek horses carved into the ceiling. The hallways were very wide. There were only um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve classrooms. And I guess it went, you know, like one to twelve or something like that. Or at kindergarten. I don't know if it had kindergarten originally. It was probably one to twelve at some point in time, but you know, then it changed. And when I taught there, it was kindergarten to fourth grade. And it was near Yale University. Very close to the graduate housing. And we had um, many foreign students come to do their graduate work at Yale. They have an Asian... Um, Uh-oh. Which way did this go? Hmm. Okay, I had to ch <laughs> check back at the picture to make sure I had it going the right way. And no, I didn't. It was upside down. Um, yes, I've done that before, put in my Chinese writing upside down. I put in English writing upside down. <laughs> so, but, you know, I don't mean to. Just one of those things. Just one of those things. So I try to get it right. Try to get it right. Oh, so I was talking about the school, yeah. So, um, yeah, so the Yale graduate housing was in our school district, and we had, I'd say about 25% of the students were children of the graduate students from Yale at that time. And, oh, I was gonna put this underneath, wasn't I? Okay, flip that up. Many of them were um, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. We had a few Vietnamese. Um, I did have other students whose parents came from um, Ireland, Africa, South Africa, I think it was South Africa. Um, Another country in Africa, too. I don't remember. Maybe it was Ganya. It was just a very interesting old school. And we were also what was called a mini magnet school. We had a special music program. I think I've talked about this before. Special music program. Kids had music like every day every day. Okay, I gotta leave that alone because it's starting to rip. <laughs> starting to rip. 
And they put on, um, every year, an opera. They put on an opera. They did a special uh, Christmas winter solstice program. They did a dance around the Maypole. It's very involved, very involved with uh, singing and dancing and putting on a play. Let me tell you. A really fun school to work at. So I had many Chinese students over the years and Japanese and Korean and Vietnamese. And I know I have a bunch of stuff down in the magic basement that I could put into a journal. Okay, let's see if I did it correctly. And I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Yeah, I wanted it ripped so you can see the flowers. But everything else is covered up. Good, 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 good. Let's use the beacon glue for that. Let's see if I can get this right. Oops. I had it standing on its head, so a little bit of a glue explosion there. All right, get this into the right place. All right, so I'm going to clip this and come back with the next page. Okay, now which way do I want to go? Maybe here. All I want to do is put this picture of the um, little Chinese girl in her traditional dress, her fancy party dress it looks like. Very fancy. And I did have something out here. Oh yeah, I was going to use this children's book page because it has the moon and the corn so it kind of looks like It would be autumn. Is that corn? I don't know what it looks like corn. Could be something else, but it looks like corn. I don't know what the story is, so I can't tell you. This was from a book about children's books, and I cut it all up, so. If you know the story, you can help me out. Uh, let's see, you don't have to center this, I guess. It looks like it's centered on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to fit on the page. Okay, what can I do here to make this fun? I just glued down the book page. Hmm. Can I cut her out a little bit? She's holding on to her mama's hand, but maybe I can make it look like she's holding the rope. Mm hmm. I wonder if I can do that well. If I don't like it, I can print out another one because it's in my phone. Really don't need her mama's leg there. And I wanted to put her in because she reminds me of all my little students I used to have. Oh, we used to do International Day. And the students would come in there traditional dress which I thought was very cool just cut off her mama's arm and the parents would make food from all the different countries and then we'd have like a potluck dinner all these kids are all grown up now probably all back in their own countries Thinking about the crazy teacher they had when they were here. I had a kind of fussy cut around her hand there. <laughs> so it looks like she's holding the rope. 
And this is probably about as good as I could get it, so I'm just going to stick her down. Put her hand right next to the cat's hand there. Like that. Okay, so my Mooncake Festival spread is done for now because I may do one more page with the actual mooncake after I open up the package. So, but that is it for today. Maybe I can get to that tomorrow. A big blob of glue over there, sorry. So I'm gonna let all this dry. And I like it, I like it. Got some interaction here. Got some photos. All right, I'm gonna go get what I got at the flea market. Well, first of all, I broke my rule about don't buy anything that you have to dust. That's always my rule. When I'm looking at the items at the flea market, sometimes I see some really fun stuff, but I'm like, is that something I have to dust? No, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> so I broke that rule today. Somebody was having a clearance or getting towards the end of the flea market season. And I just thought these were <laughs> so cute. Look at this. I know it's so tall I can't get it under the camera, but it's it's like a um, turned, almost like a stair railing or something. And it's all painted lovely. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's got a little carrot here. It's such a cute bunny. It's a little dirty from being at the flea market, but got a little gingham bow. It's pretty long. Let's see. Where's the big ruler? Here's the big ruler. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's like 20 inches tall. Yeah, it's pretty big. And then there was a smaller one. Smaller one. This one's blue. They both have kind of the same face, but could almost fit them in there. Aren't they cute? They were adorable. One dollar each. I figure well, I'll clean them up a little bit, fix them up a little bit, and um, I don't know, stick them out on the porch next spring for Easter. They're just so cute. So I broke my rule. I bought two things that I'm going to have to get cleaned and dusted. Oh. Alright, get those out of the way. Second of all, I think I've just about cleaned everybody out of junk journaling supplies. Not too much left at this point in time. Oh, I was looking for my bottle of water. It's in the bag. I got a free calendar from Mr. Possum for the garage from Berkshire Hathaway. It has some nice pictures in it, though. If he doesn't, um, if he doesn't ruin it, there's a nice lighthouse. So it does have some pretty pictures, so that's for Mr. Possum, and hopefully I can get the pictures, you know, when he's done with it. Also from the um, Berkshire Hathaway, I got a flashlight, a couple clips for the refrigerator, <laughs> all free stuff, right? Well, I got free stuff last week too, didn't I? Okay, those are giveaways. Uh, the same person that had those bunnies for a dollar had this really pretty Nutcracker Christmas ornament. And this was a dollar. And like, this is probably worth more than a dollar. And a lot of detail on there. I don't know if it's glass or plastic. I mean, it looks like glass, but I thought it was really pretty. For one dollar. That'll go somewhere. That'll go on the Christmas tree. Then some lady had some things. Okay, this is a Be Grateful Pumpkin and Squirrel felt craft kit creatology what's that michael's uh 3.99 she wanted a dollar for it well maybe someday i'll sit down and make that and then she had some more things for a dollar i got a number nine stuck on the back of there and this came from something scrapbooking i'm not really sure yard sale one dollar i don't know what that is 
something at home scrapbooking. Right at home scrapbooking, yard sale, one dollar. Whatever that means, I don't know. But these are slide frames, and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. All different colors. And you fold them in half and put little pictures in the middle. Which size are these? Where's that ruler? Oh, I, I got my Dolores ruler here. When they are folded in half, they're, they're twinchy. They're twinchy size. This is a ruler that Dolores gave me, kitty cat. So these are twinchy size. So that might be fun twinchies right there. Two things to play with. And then she had these 3D stickers. Can you see them moving? Look at the flower and the star. You're the best. I know these kind of reminded me of maybe like a 1960s kind of page. Something like that. 3D stickers, all a dollar. And then these main stickers. This was kind of nice. Everybody's doing states. So this was a dollar. I like the puffin. Kind of nice stickers too for a dollar. And this is a Heidi Swap. Swap? Heidi Swap. Is that her name? Heidi Swap. Um, and these are silhouette images, snowflakes. Winter is coming, right? Winter is coming. And then this was a dollar too. It says they light up, but the light up doesn't work anymore. But I thought this was such a fun robot. And I like to put things like this into my Halloween journals, like fun, spacey fantasy, all kinds of things into my Halloween journals. Not just like Halloween stuff, but just lots of fun stuff. So this robot I thought was super fun for a dollar. There's a rocket, space, and I love this ray gun down here. Got some planets and stars. So this was another dollar. I know I like to buy things that are a dollar because that's cheaper than going to the dollar store. And this is all brand new stuff, so... That was good, and I think that is it besides the last item, and I did finally, at the end of the season, find something that is on my wish list, and that was to get a ledger. Now, I know this is long, but still, um, I was just thinking I'd take the paper, you know, so I got some ledger paper to put in some journals. Or do something with nice paper. Some of them are written on and that's perfectly fine. But um, I'm kind of liking this whole this whole book here. If it uh, still works. Looks a little broken there. That ring right there. That might give me problems. Hmm. Didn't notice that before. But maybe I can get Mr. Possum to fix that a little bit. We shall see. If not, if the uh, cover's not good, I'll certainly use all this paper for journaling. On 213, somebody had a facial scrub. 865 tax. <laughs> Betty Jumpkins and her facial scrub. Linda Di Novella, Complete Weight Control, Vanilla, thirty-four fifty. I have no idea what business this is. Cable. Hmm, Bloomingdale's. So I don't know where it came from or what kind of business this is, but I like the ledger sheets. They're nice and yellowed. I like the color of them, and if I can fix this, I might make something out of this cover. We shall see, but I got some ledgers, and I paid uh, $2. The lady was going to say 3 I said, I'll give you $2 for it, so she said fine. So there's enough in there, I guess, $2 worth. The original prices came from Calvar's department store. It was like eight ninety nine, I think. Two bucks, two bucks, but it's used. So that is it. These are my... Fun junk journaling bargain. Look at this. I just 
love this. I wonder if I can put a new battery in there so that actually lights up. If you have any ideas, let me know. And also, if you have any ideas on how to fix this, let me know. So that is it for today. I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. Okay.